Best way to give the medication to the street dog, you just um, here put the pill into the sausage like this. Hang on, and this, and then here done. Hey, are you happy, girly? Hello. Oh, hi, Mum. Hello. Oh, Mummy, are you going to be my friend now? Hello. Hello. 
I think she hiding. Hello. When we first moved here about two months ago, the dogs were in the woods just behind, but maybe about a week or two weeks after we'd been staying here, there was some guys in there cutting down the grass and cutting the trees. So the dogs came out of the woods and were spending all of the time in the street and the puppy appeared and we fed her for a couple of days and then we noticed her wound. But you can have a look and you can see that her wound has healed really well. <laughs> there you go. A lot of people commented on the previous video asking why the puppy's wound was left uncovered. The vet explained to Jerry that the wound needed to be left uncovered because there were some maggots in there. So he gave us a powder that we needed to apply and yeah, so he gave us a, some powder that needed to be applied to kill any infection and to kill any maggots that were still left inside the wound. So we can see, like I said before, her wound has healed fantastically. There's definitely no infection there anymore. So yeah, she's a happy little girl now and it's great to see. But watch this, so mum actually lets us closer to her now. She didn't at first. He's very hungry, very hungry. Mum, do you want some? Uh -uh. Yeah, you can see she's still quite nervous, but it's getting better. And for this one, for you, ah, uh, ah, uh, don't be greedy. Over there, you. <laughs> ah. Do you want some? No. No? Do you want to try? No. <laughs> you want some? No? <laughs> when it rains, there's a shelter over here. So at the moment, they're doing some building work. But usually, during the day when it rains, there's a house on the corner. And they usually go behind the back of the house. And there's a little shelter where they can keep dry. This is amazing, so mum comes closer to me every day. Sometimes she even sniffs my hand now. I really want to get to the point where I can actually stroke her and give her some love and some affection. Not there yet. She gets so close now, it's lovely. Hey. Hi. Hello. Oh, she's still scared. I just want to be her friend. Yeah, so a few days ago, Jerry was just playing with the puppy and he was just touching her ears and he noticed that there were some lice inside her ears. So he had a look through her paws and inside her ears and he picked out, I think they were lice. So when we went to the vet and we were talking to the vet about the cats that we cared for, the vet gave Jerry a pill for each of the dogs so he put the pill inside a sausage and gave them all a pill and it looks like they haven't got any lice anymore so the lice have all gone that's good mum are you my friend hey <laughs> Aww. there's a lot of building work going on in the street it looks like there's a new house or something being built uh, we're not going to be here for much longer. We're going to be moving out within the next couple of weeks. We're going to do our best to try and find them a home. We're going to feed them from now until we leave. I just hope we can at least get mum spared before we leave. The place where we've been staying is right on the corner. So in this street, there are the four dogs. And then, just around here, on this street there's maybe about 10 dogs in this street they seem to have their own territory because the dogs in this street never come into our street and the four dogs in our street never come out here so they must have marked the territory and know where they can go and where they can't go and then down here if you walk down here for a few yards and then on the right there's about 15 cats last week we noticed a few of the cats underneath the car 
and we went inside and we found two little kittens. We've cared for the kittens and they're back with their mum now. In our next video, we're going to show you the kittens, uh, what we did, how we cared for them and the reunion with their mum. It was beautiful.